Hey, I just did a video for Morse VR gameplay. It's such a wonderful game, a fantastic experience. Stay tuned. Hey guys, it's Alto the Upper coming to you with another gameplay video. This time is for Moss VR. And we're in his cottage. Now I'm just looking around in his cottage here and it looks it look in VR from what I'm looking at here it looks incredible. Um you could go upstairs, you could actually have a seat in the chair. <laughs> it just looks really nice, you know. You could go up to his bedroom here, look at his little bed, jump on his bed, that's kind of cool. There's a picture there in the corner. Oh, he found something that is great. That is fantastic for Moss. So we're going to head out. So we're back outside. In campfire and stories, they often meddled in the lives of mortals. And when they appeared, mischief followed. I'm on the forest floor. If you look up, you can see the trees. They are huge in comparison to moss. He's just a little mouse, right? And I'm just looking around. And it just looks really great. You know, the plants, the flowers. You know, the ferns. You know, the this looks nice it looks really nice just stop and pause a bit and just look look at the fireflies in the sky it looks fantastic um i know i have to follow this guy here and now wait a second before i do i'm just going to destroy some stuff here he's leading me up to the gate and i'm just going to turn around slowly it was strictly forbidden but despite her promise, Quill knew in her heart that Uncle Argus needed her. Wow. So I'm just heading up to the gate. And I'm just looking around. And you can, Now, I have the ability of looking beyond the gate. Um, Moss is behind the gate. But, you know, it's just really nice. Oh, she must found something in the corner here. That's great. So we got the gate open. So we just gonna follow. Who demanded answers? Starving, you can't just barge in here with your riddles. Where is wow. He? What do you know? So I call it. Trouble your uncle's heading for. I could push it more in. Here you go. So, able to get around here. There you go. So now we're able to make a way, and we are looking at these mushrooms here right now, and the leaves. They look so real. So we're just gonna go and climb up here. Very nice. You could see the roots, eh? So now I'm just creating a little pathway for moss here. So he has to crawl along below the tree stump. Nice. See, whoops, he's headed into the portal, but you can see all the mushrooms here below the tree stump. Very nice. And I'm in the portal. We're coming out from the log. Oh, look at the distance over here. You could see a deer and its baby foal. That is nice. So we're coming out of the forest a bit. You could see the full moon right above me. 
and the stars in the sky so we're on the other part of the forest looking good looking good you could see the ferns here and we just have to follow the speck coming down and you know like I said the dares are having a drink of water and look at this here look at below me look at all the water you could see the reflection you know this is the water here it's a kind of mucky kind of water but it wow it has life it has a bit of movement in it that is nice so moss is crossing the bridge right we got a trophy here so we're heading a little bit further in look at this axe my god where that came from you could see that eh <laughs> who would ever put that there I don't know um, it could have been one of the humans or the larger creatures put that there so now look at us here so we're in the different part of the forest you could see now it's a little less um, foliage around here but more it's clearer like it's it's not as dense as it was in the last area we were before so I'm just gonna kind of make do a little bit of destruction here collect a little bit of the light or whatever that may be there you go I raised the platform that was kind of cool so we're gonna jump on this platform here and she's oh she showed me where the other platform is I get it I could see it right under the water here so we got the other platform so I'm gonna jump over here and the final platform is over here there you go now there is something at the bottom over here oh there is okay I see there is a there you go nice and easy oh here's a dare look at a dare right there in front of us ah he heard the noise that moss is making kind of cool it frightened him a bit eh he's looking our way that is neat it's a pity we couldn't get a little bit more detail on him but we definitely attract his attention look at this you see we attract his attention again ha 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 he goes back and drink okay so just looking around here so now you could see it's more like a, a big piece of rock here and you, look at this this is a helmet from a knight going through this and there's a scroll right in front of me just below me here and this is armor in interesting and here's a squirrel at the end over there with some kind of thing in his mouth over there and I believe right now what we're looking at is a old battlefield like a swamp battlefield you could see all the swords and the armor and everything in front of me here and you know now it becomes clear it's more in a swampy area right now so I'm gonna bring Moss down this way right and I'm gonna head up here break the stick in front of me and there is a scroll here so what I'm gonna do before I head out I'm just gonna see if I could grab this thing right here nice beautiful I don't know what they are hello Moss look at him right in front of me he looks so lifelike so real eh his little blue eyes hmm nice okay so let me get back to the mission at hand um, let me just go back to the top here gonna jump Woo. and jump down here I look at the, the helmet I look at the screw on mine in his own business okay so there you go. So now we just gotta raise this platform. 
Beautiful. So that's great. Ooh. Oh no! Wow, this is woo! The sun is coming out, or something is coming out. It looks so much brighter right now. Did you hear that? Yeah, look Starting at this. Anxious. Look at Moss. I've He's coming in on his little past. raft. I can't <laughs> be seen. With you. I'll catch up with you later. Just don't go and die on me. No, I won't. Wow, this world is getting to look even more and more fantastic as we get deeper into this world. The sun is coming out, so it really has a different feel. The grass looks really nice. Everything looks good. I could see we're still in the swamp area. You could see all the swords and everything around us. You could see a Mr. Nibbles or Rabbit right to the end over there. Alrighty, so let's do this. Well, let's try not to die. These uh, moss is crossing a sword. I'm just looking around. Oh my gosh. What's what's up with Moss? Nice. He fell, eh? The sword broke. Hmm. Okay, so we got another trophy for something. I don't know what it was. So we're gonna keep on heading down. But before I do, I'm just gonna take a little gaze around in the forest here. Look around very slowly and you could see all the battle, the swords, the shield. But the sun is coming out now because the last area we were in, it was night. So now you could see the sun coming down on this side creating this nice shadow. You could see moss over here. You know, and we could see over on the swamp over there like the sun really wants to come down. Like right here you could see some shadows from the sun it looks really nice so now we're going oh that's a mouse I thought that was a rabbit I stand corrected it's a mouse so we came over from that area over there where the tree was and the little arch so we came over there I'm just gonna look around and this looks like a, a castle that has been destroyed I guess from the Mouse Kingdom, you could see the statue right here. So we're gonna go towards the gate. Put the statue on the stamp here. Woo! The gate is open and we're in. Hmm. Look at the thorns. Look at this. Cut these suckers open. Yes, nice. Nice. Very nice. Now you can see the reflection right in the water. And this castle, like it's not like any game, like when you're playing VR, it's, you're actually in the world. You're actually seeing the world in a different light and it looks nice. I mean, especially this game it looks really, really sharp, really good. So we, we're going to jump on the other side here, climb up. Do a little bit of scaling on the wall and jump down here. Cut this. You don't want to get cut by this. Now there is a. Hmm. Looks like we have to go around, eh? Nope. Hmm. I thought we had to go around. Run and jump. Nice. Run and jump here. Woo! Okay, so now we're in a whole different area. So it looks like this vast area. Hmm. Interesting. So we're going to jump down to something. And I have a feeling this might be a boss battle. Okay, it is a boss battle. Look at Moss. Oh, it's a, it's a beetle. Yeah. It will swing. I'm just waiting for it because once it swings, it becomes. Okay, so I guess it's doing it again, eh? 
Wait for it to swing. Yeah, I'm low on health right now. Gotta be careful. You know. Very low on health. You could see me. It's gonna swing one more time. When that happens, I just get into it. See, Moss is suffering here. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. We got another trophy here. Good things are happening. So we're able to get rid of three beetles. A little bit trial and error. But you know, it's about having fun, man. It's not about blasting with this. Because this game, the world is fantastic. It's well built. It's very immersive. through the trees. Wow. Like someone who has stolen our champion's power. A small yet fantastical band of sprites emerged surrounding Quill. I'm Veda, root seer of the mire, and hmm. you have crossed into our domain. So I'm gonna turn the page. She sized up Quill with a rueful gaze. Then turned her attention upward. I sense you there too. I have not felt the presence of such a promising reader in some time. A youthful warrior marched forward. Rootseer, I'm prepared to honor our great champion's legacy. Rodent, give us our glass. Hmm. Oh, that's what they're after the glass. Turn the page. Will stepped closer. Where is my uncle? If you've hurt him... Silence! Veda thundered back. It was Argus who summoned us here, and now I see why. Young one, I'm afraid the trees hum of attack. Your uncle's been taken to the castle of your ancestors. Quill's knees buckled as Veda continued. Argus put himself at great risk calling for us. Your uncle was Next part of the story. To protect the glass of your fallen king. He is the only one left who knows where it's been hidden. The arcane have long sought to wrest that knowledge from him. And do you dare to cross into the mire with our glass? Sarfog will soon burn through this forest looking to tear you and your reader apart. Unless, of course, you find them first. Turn the page. Take these. Weapons made for the mighty champion who died so that your people could live. Quill felt its otherworldly power course through her. Find your uncle twofold before the nice. city and its masters break him. Very Warrior nice. You see what Quill got? Most got with her? Rootseer. She's minuscule. Come now. The reader has chosen its hero. We must let their story unfold. Veda replied with a frost of finality and vanished into the shadows of the mire. Wow, this arena. The f we are still at the bottom of the forest floor. It looks great uh, in front of me here. Is, I guess that's my next direction. I'm in this little area here. Oh, there's a scroll on top of here. So let me go and grab that scroll here. Yeah, before I move on. The top. Wow. She goes right to the top. Look at this. Look at the scale of this. This is crazy. Nice, I thought I would have missed that jump. And she got it. I wonder what this is for though. 
I've been collecting these in the game and I don't know what this is for. You know, I just can't stop marveling in this world, man. Um, just looking around, seeing all the different plants. You see the mushrooms, the tree stump. Look at the tree. It's still bright sun, sun outside here. You could see the ferns, the greenery on the forest floor. It looks good, man. It looks really, really, really nice. If you guys have a VR, this is the game definitely you should look into getting. It's definitely worth your time. The world is so immersive here. So that's it, guys. Thanks for joining me with this Moss VR gameplay. Um, tell me what you guys think in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.